Mr. Popsid here. This is a kind of unique case and I get these questions a lot about birthmark removal. Large moles, you know, six, eight, sometimes even 10 centimeters on different areas of the body. Um, it, it's a common question that we get and we can remove them. It's usually just multi-step removal. So especially like this video I'm going to show you or the pictures I'm going to show you on the forearm here, there's not a lot of skin, you know, it's pretty tight already wrapped around the lower arm. So when we have a big birthmark like that, we're gonna cut sections. So we'll do an elliptical cut down the middle and we'll bring that in, let that skin kind of heal and stretch back out for four to six weeks. And then we'll come in and do another cut and bring that together again. Sometimes it takes three or four. This one only took two um, surgeries. It gets a little longer each time, but for people who have visual birthmarks that they just really don't like them and they want them gone, this is a procedure of how we do it. So we kind of do it in sections. So you'll see the pictures coming up right now. Her original presentation after the first surgery, after the sutures were removed and it stretched out a little bit, and then the second surgery and then the suture removal. So kind of interesting to see where one big mole used to be is now completely gone. And that scar in time will fade. She'll just have a little line there instead of that big dark spot that she didn't like. So thanks to her for sharing her mole removal. She was excited. Um, once I told her I had a YouTube channel, she didn't know. She's like, absolutely, I want you to share these pictures. That's really interesting. So this is how we do it, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for popping by. Okay guys, just Mr. Popsit here. This is our congenital nevi, the mole that she was born with um, that was pretty large on this small area of, of the lower legs or on the forearm like this one. It can be a little bit more difficult to remove a, a mole that's this wide. So we do it in segments as you just saw in the pictures that I showed. And we cut out the center and bring it together, let that skin stretch back out and heal for four to six weeks. And then we do another excision to take the rest out. And you can see if we do it in segments, it allows the, the uh, fibers in the skin to kind of stretch and the elastin fibers and, and skin in time stretches back into place, even if it's very tight. And she healed great. She's just starting to get a little um, redness from the sutures being in for two weeks. And we're going to get those out now. And she should have a great outcome. And that mole is completely gone. So um, something she lived with for a long time. And it was in an area that's hard to cover. So I'm glad we could help her out with that. And it looks like she's going to do very well going forward. Okay, hey guys, this is with the sutures out. You can see that redness just starting there. So it's good to get that nylon out so her body won't attack that anymore. And that seam is just going to keep closing. We'll have her back in a couple months just to show the final, final result. But this is good. Um, that skin is already stretching back out and looks good today. So thanks to again to her for sharing. And that's how you remove a large congenital nevi or birthmark. Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. If you like what you just saw, make sure to pop all the buttons. See you soon.